smile every time I think of the first night that we kissed You waited in the doorway till I finally pulled you in I've never found a wine intoxicating as your lips I knew right then I'd never want another pair of them I've never laughed as freely as I did beneath the trees Hearing you tell stories while I tried to sit and read I've seen my share of storms but in your voice I found my peace So I laugh until my stomach hurts while you lie there next to me But baby, there's no way that I won't cry When I see you walking down that I All eternity wrapped in one space and time It's in your eyes, dressed in white To be my bride My bride, oh, oh, be my bride, oh, for the rest of my life. If everyone would please be seated and make sure your seatbelts are securely fastened <laughs> and your phones are on airplane mode. Emergency exits are in every given direction. In all seriousness, I would like to remind everyone that it's very hot out today, so stay hydrated. I believe you've all been, uh, all been um, given a bottle of water. Use it. And it's important to stay hydrated, not only with beer, that goes to you, Frederick. So you are probably wondering why I've gathered you all here today. Um, on behalf of the lovely couple standing before you, uh, I would like to welcome you all this beautiful afternoon. Some of you have travelled here from far, some of you have travelled here from near. Some of you have travelled from very far and from very near. All the same, I know it means the world to both Hunter and Frederick to have each and every one of you here today to celebrate this very special occasion, their second wedding. <laughs> As some of you know, there was this pandemic flu or whatever, um, and they named it after a certain Mexican beverage for whatever reason. But it turned out that this beverage flu was quite serious. And so Hunter and Frederick had to put their wedding plans on hold. But in somewhat of a, an urgency, they arranged for a ceremony, or as Hunter so beautifully once put it, got the paperwork done, over in America two years ago. So for those of you who attended the paperwork ceremony, welcome back. Actually being married for two years already and having that in order meant that you didn't need a proper priest, so to speak, to officiate you here today. And apparently you did not have the economy to pay someone professional to do this. So here I am with my iPad. So for those of you in attendance today uh, I have not met and with whom I have yet the pleasure of making acquaintance, my name is Sondra. I am today's reverend. You may address me as father. All jokes aside, uh, just as words are inadequate to explain true happiness, so too are words inadequate to express how humbled and privileged and honoured I feel to be given this task. If a man is judged by the quality of the company he keeps, then I must be doing something right, because look at who I'm rolling with. I got to know these two goofballs back in 2016, uh, when Frederick so humbly had a documentary made about him, and I was among the little helpers who arranged the premiere festivities up in Liliana. 
Frederick showed up with a Corona in his hand, which at the time was just a beer. And Hunter showed up with a full bottle of falling feather in one hand and a phone the size of a head in the other. <laughs> and the rest is history. Also in history lies the moments that built the relationship we're here to celebrate today and tomorrow and the day after. And according to Frederick, their story goes something like this. Hunter was bathing in the last rays of sunlight on a perfect day, on a perfect beach, on an undisclosed location somewhere in Southern California, when he came storming through the sunset on a white horse with wings the size of a Mark 40 or Supra on either side. <laughs> but the truth is, they met on Instagram. <laughs> they got to talking. And it turned out this chick from Southern California was not only drop dead gorgeous, but had was into country music, off road racing, and had a non existing social filter. Posting everything from edited selfies to how her braces had worked wonders for her teeth, and cherished moments with her family and friends. This girl was unapologetically herself. And Frederick fell hard. He knew from day one that it was her. It was always going to be her. But Frederick is not your typical glass half full kind of person, or glass half empty kind of person for that matter. He's more of a glass manufactured to the wrong specifications kind of guy. <laughs> And this tends to result in overthinking. So, scared absolutely shitless, he, for taking responsibility for something other than himself, he was never, he has never shivered as much as the day he asked Hunter for a hand in marriage. And never felt such an uncontrollable joy as the moment she said yes. That moment, was a promise of this moment. I believe you both prepared your vows. So this comes from a very deep part of my soul, and I'm very happy to share it with you. Of course, this is a condensed version, but here we go. Frederick, when I first met you, I didn't know what you quite wanted from me. The random girl you saw online who was putting heart eyes under your Instagram photos. For at the time, I truly thought someone of your caliber was so far out of my reach. On our first date, I was skeptical. And the moment I saw you in board shorts and a collared shirt, I was slightly more skeptical. <laughs> um, <clears throat> However, in Hawaii is when the sparks flew, and it was like somehow I knew my whole world was changing. Because as you see, for the longest time, I had prayed for someone like you to come into my life. Someone whose love is gentle, yet unyielding, so powerful that you hold me without touch and keep me without shame. The way your soul loves, gives, and nourishes has truly changed who I am. Sometimes I can't believe it's true. Here as I stand, so tall, just the way I was always meant to be. It makes me feel like I can't live without you because getting the chance to love you is the best thing that I think I'll ever do. They say that love is a journey, and when it's too heavy to carry, remember this moment with me. This is the promise I'm making to you. I make this my solemn vow. Whatever may come, however late you may end up, <laughs> I promise to love, support, and cherish every fiber of your being. Your turn. <laughs> Thank you, sir. No, not yet. That was very impressive. <laughs> I almost lost, lost this paper, paper by the way. <laughs> 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 uh, 
Hunter. When I saw you for the first time, I fell in love instantly. That's why I sent you that song, um, already calling you mine. At that moment, I knew that I wanted to marry you. I'm sorry. And here we are. You're tough and strong on the outside, but soft and kind on the inside. That's why I call you my turtle. <laughs> I admire you, and I'll always wish I was more like you. I promise to always have your back and cheer for you, both on the track and off the track, in the sand pit or wherever life takes us. I promise not to worry about my love for you fading away, because loving you is the most natural thing. It becomes very easy to me, and I can't think of any other way. You may not notice, but I smile when I look at you, when you're sleeping, when you're awake, when you're focused doing your thing. I relax around you, I feel at home around you, and I'm just as starstruck now as I was seven years ago. Like in those uh, Instagram photos. Hunter, I love you more than you know. Now, if you would please bring forth the rings. Please place the ring on Hunter's finger and repeat after me. I give you this ring as a symbol. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love and faithfulness my love and faithfulness as I place it on your finger as I place it on your finger I commit my heart and soul to you I commit my heart and soul to you I ask you to wear this ring as a reminder I ask you to wear this ring as a reminder of the vows we have spoken here today of the vows we have spoken here today now Hunter you please place the ring on Frederick's finger and repeat after me. I give you this ring as a symbol. I give you this ring as a symbol. Of my love and faithfulness. One more time. Of my love and faithfulness. Of my love and faithfulness. As I place it on your finger. As I placed it on your finger. <laughs> I commit, I commit my heart and soul, and soul to you. I commit my heart and soul to you. I ask you to wear this ring as a reminder. I ask you to wear this ring as a reminder. Of the vows we have spoken here today. Of the vows we have spoken here today. And now for the good part. Do you... Frederick Osbo, welcome Hunter Marie Taylor as your lawfully wedded wife, offering her your love and encouragement, your trust and respect, your occasional assistance with laundry and dishes, as together you create your future. Yes, I do. <laughs> and do you, Hunter Marie Taylor, welcome Frederick Osbo as your lawfully wedded husband, offering <laughs> Hang in there. Okay, okay. Bear with me. You had a pause, so. Offering him your love and encouragement, your trust and respect, your unyielding patience when he takes absolute ages to do anything, as together you create your future. I do. There you go. And so, by the power invested in me by you, I now pronounce you husband and wife.
what could I do? Follow along with your hips, feet, heartbeat, song The flow and dress in your hair, girl, it ain't fair Whatever you do, just don't stop You just move 